Hey guys, I am going to share with you um, a little tidbit about the form. So uh, I'm going to click here first. Um, when so this is a form. I made. I'm making the basic form for you guys, and then the so for example, I I made the basic hobbies form. It says over here that Tegan is doing the form, and then Kaylee is doing the graphic for hobbies. But also Xander, Kaylee, Tegan, Jonathan, and Hayden are all involved with this. So what you'll see is that I've, in, I've invited all of these um, students to be editors. But Tegan is going to be the one who's going to be doing the editing to make it look how she wants it to look. And everyone else is going to have access to the responses because they're part of the group. So when they're working on the page later, um, they'll have more information if they need to come back here. So this is just the plain generic version. I called it collection form hobbies. And then the name of it, remember they're not gonna see this. They're only gonna see show off your hobbies. There is a little blurb here that tells them how to turn it, you know, what we're looking for. You can change any of the verbiage here, um, whatever you wanna do, Tegan or other members, you guys can discuss it. Some of the things that we wanna make sure our forms have is an email address, student first name, student last name, student grade, then the place where they're gonna add their photos and then for them to give us either a description of what the photo looks like, who they are, or any other information. Um, this is all gonna be in your form already, but if you wanted to add more questions or for those of you who are gonna be making the forms for the uh, what we're watching movies, what we're watching, YouTube and what we're listening to, what's in my playlist and or what games are we playing? If you're going to be doing any of those forms, you're going to be adding more than what I give you here. So if you want to add, let's say we're here at the end and I want to add another question. You just click the plus sign. I'm actually going to close this for a second. You're going to click the plus sign and there's another question. And now here you can choose what type of question you want. So short answer is for first, last name and um, grade. A paragraph, which is right here, they asked for a paragraph so they could write a little bit more. Um, if you're making the, um, what we're watching, what we're gaming, and what we're listening to, you might be using the multiple choice, the checks boxes, and the drop down menu for those um, forms, but we're not going to for these other forms. And then if it's time to, if you wanna add another place to fill in another type of um, photo, if you click file upload, that is what creates um, the little tidbit about how to turn in your photo. But I already did that. The reason I did that ahead of time is because the this actual folder where all these responses go into is gonna be in my Google Drive. So every student will have access to it just in case something happens and somebody's sick and someone else needs to take over. We'll have access to all that stuff. Um, but then you guys are editors, so your names are all there. So let's see, when I click send and click add collaborators, you will see these are everybody that is an editor on this form. So you guys are able to um, look at responses and delete responses. Please don't delete them. And this link is only for editors to give to other editors. Um, that's not the right link to give out to the public. So if you wanted to give this link to the public, you would have to click on the eyeball. Now this right here shows you what the form would look like without the editing capabilities. And if you wanted to give it to a friend so they could turn it in or something, you would click on the eyeball. Here you go. It looks like this. This is the link. Um, at the end, it says view form. So this is the link that you would give to somebody. You notice a new tab opened up here also. So I'm going to close this one. I'm gonna go back to this one, the um, editing one for the editors. Uh, yeah, so that's how you get the link to share it. You gotta click on the eyeball. Now for Tegan, and for those of you that are gonna be editing to make it look a certain way, I'm gonna click up here on the palette. That's how this pops up. Now, if you click on choose image, it gives you these themes, and there are a lot of great themes in here, so you can look through here and see what you like. I'm gonna click on sports and games since this is the hobby, um, the hobby page. And since it's a hobby, oh, I don't know, they're celebrating or something. Let's do that. What is this? 
or watching sports and eating food. Sure, let's do that. There you go. And then you have all these color choices. You can change that up if you want to. So you could just add a standard one like this and then you'd be done. Um, but you could also add an image that you like that I'm gonna do in the next form. So if you don't see anything you like here in the standard themes, then watch the next video and I'll show you how to make a little header for these forms.